What is up you guys? It is time for an update video. So we're gonna talk about some really good things. I've gotten lots of questions in the chat and in the uh, comment section from you guys. So a couple questions I wanna answer, but we're kind of mostly gonna talk about where I am right now, week 22 of my journey, and we're gonna talk about body size, okay? So get into it. Okay, so hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Keisha. I am on a GLP-1 journey. It is week 22, y'all. We are pretty much at May, June, July, August, September. Five months in. Ah! <laughs> so crazy. So my name is Keisha. I'm sharing my GLP-1 journey on here. You could be already seeing this from that video, from other videos that you filmed me, or you could be watching this for the first time. I share other things. I'm getting back into vlogging more of my life with me and my kids and different things. I just shared a video uh, last week about my testimony, basically my testimony of where God has brought me from, different things that happened a couple years ago, going from what uh, driving Amazon Flex donating plasma two, like two times a week, like just a crazy season that I was in. And then going from that to now being a content creator and also working in my dream job in fashion. So amazing, amazing like comments and love that I got from so many of you guys. So if you watched that, thank you so much. If you didn't go back and watch it and just give God the glory for where he's brought me from, okay? More stories like that are coming because your girl is a millennial that has lived a life, okay? I've lived like seven lives in the last 37 years, but I'm grateful for it. And if I can share my story, my journey to help and bless anybody, that is always my goal. So you'll see more videos like that coming. So just show, show them some love. And if you like that kind of stuff, let me know. But anyway, we are here to talk about GLP-1, y'all. Okay, I love these little updates. It's been a minute. I'm looking crazy. <laughs> I just dropped the kids off at school. Well, they went to the bus. I got my smoothie. I'm just waiting any moment now for Smoothie King to drop in my email and let me know when y'all want to sponsor your girl because the the way that I plug y'all <laughs> for this smoothie that I get at least three times a week is crazy, you know, but it's good. So now I'm to the point, y'all, where I'm, I'm adding extra shots of espresso in it. So I added an extra shot of espresso and it's good. So I have my coffee high protein smoothie. If you have not watched my past videos, go back and watch because I talk about this probably in, in each update because I always get it. Okay. So jumping into what I want to talk about today, I had some comments that I was like, okay, this is a good time to talk about like actual body size and show you guys uh, side by side. I don't, I don't know if I can put it side by side, but I'll play one video that I took in the very beginning of my journey. Oh my God. Like I know I'm going to look at this and be like, oh my God. Like when I see this video and every time I look at my before, I'm just like, I'm so amazed now. So now, oh, and I can give you guys an official weight update. I don't even think I logged it, but I'll, I'll talk about body first. So I will play the video right after I finish talking of where I was before. So actually, let me play it now. All right, so if you're new here, at this starting weight, I started at 228 pounds. Like I said, this is the largest that I had ever been outside of pregnancy. If you're new, go back and watch the previous videos. But you can really see, like just notice my hips and thighs, my butt <laughs> to be like transparent, my back, the rolls underneath where my bra would sit, like my arms. The difference is so, so crazy. So like I said, 228 pounds is where I started this journey, April 25th. And then we'll go back and cut to where I am now. Y'all, like y'all, <laughs> is there's a phrase that someone said when I was watching, I was looking at a TikTok of somebody who's also on a journey, on this journey of um, weight loss and GLP-1 and they call it, and I've heard it before, but I was like, this is the perfect term for it. Number one, you also hear it called body dysmorphia, which I've said before, but weight blindness. Weight blindness is so real because I knew that I gained weight. I knew that I was not the size that I was used to being, but looking at yourself 
And now, I guess now being on the other side of it, down 30 plus pounds, I'm just like, I can't believe that I was that size. Like, and to some of you guys who are watching it, you may be like, you weren't even that big. But to me, and being at what, 227, 228 pounds, and that size, that I, like that is crazy. So that is the video before. And now I'll show you the video that I literally just took of myself because I had someone ask in the comments, they were like, can can you do a side by side or can we see more? Because these videos are sitting down, which is fair. So I was like, okay, you, you got me on that one. You got me on that one. Um, <laughs> these videos are of me sitting down when I'm talking to y'all most of the time. So I was like, okay, let me do a, a stand up spin around. I didn't have on the same clothing that I had on, but pretty similar, like a black bottom, like you guys can see. I have on um, leggings when I show you this next video. And then the tank top that I have under this, I just took off this t-shirt so and kind of like pulled it up so you can see more of my body. So hopefully you guys can see the difference. I'll put in that video of the after now. So now y'all look at the difference, like the difference in my neck and my collarbone, like where was my collarbone this whole time? I have definition in my waist, my waist is so much slimmer, my thighs and everything is just so like, I hope you see the difference. So my arms are not exactly where I want it to be, but they're definitely not where it was. I still have the like two rolls you see on the side of my waist, which I know I could go down a lot smaller. Like if I were to actually go to the gym and work out, like I wanted to, so that I'm not too worried about right now. Cause that is going to be a focus of mine is toning and coming down. But I realized when I was editing this video that I did not tell you guys my weight. So the weight that I am at now is 197 pounds, you guys. So you'll see the scale in a second, but I'm officially down over 30 pounds. What is that? 30 one pounds, 31 pounds, y'all. Crazy. So I really, I feel like in the last few weeks have really, really been seeing the difference. And a lot of people now are saying it too. It's interesting because people that I know who have done this journey, not, I, I know them personally, but they're not like great friends. So I wouldn't, I haven't like had conversations with them about this, but they, I feel like people get to the point on this journey where you're losing weight, depending on if you do it the way that I did it, which I tried to do it pretty slow and gradual. Like I stayed on 2.5 milligrams of trisepatide um, and Demandra for a month. If you don't know, like I said, go back and watch the previous videos. I have many, many videos. Um, but if I see the, the results that I like of doing it slow, but it's almost like you get to the point where it's just like it hits and it's like, oh, you lost like, wait, wait. <laughs> I saw some people, I saw this one content creator friend that I have last week on Thursday, was it Thursday? And she was like, I really see the difference now. And I've had so many other people tell me that. And even for myself, I did a video, like a little quick um, reel or TikTok. I think I posted it on my YouTube shorts too. And I'll also insert it here after I'm finished talking. Because I'm not even going to lie, I've seen the difference and I see, you know, like, oh, my face is slimming down and, you know, clothes are fitting better. But when I did this side by side video, just of my face, I was like, if like face and upper half of my body, I was like, oh my God, like the second half of the video where I'm like me now, I was like, look at my neck, look at my like chin and jaw structure, look at my collarbone, my best friend. She was like, come on collarbone. I was like, where was my collarbone for <laughs> these last few years? It's crazy, it's so crazy. So weight blindness is very real. And I guess that's like I said, the same thing as body dysmorphia where you are a certain size or certain weight and you just don't see it. You don't see yourself like, there you see yourself maybe at your old self still I don't know but the weight blindness is real because like I said seeing those two videos side by side was like a huge eye-opener and I just can't believe that I've come that far y'all so so grateful so excited so I hope that that side by side video and those two videos of my before standing up full body like spinning around 
and after help you guys to see the same difference that I am now seeing. But like I said, I feel like people get to a point in this journey and some faster than others because I know some people start off on the lowest dose and then they go to the next highest dose after that month. And then after like people increase a little bit faster than I did. So I think for me, since it's been so gradual, so like, I guess, quote unquote, slow, it's it's hitting at the point now where people are like, yo, like, girl, <laughs> like they calling me skinny mini and all this stuff. Like, it's just so funny. So even like putting on this shirt, like I've had this shirt for a while now and just how much room that I have on each side of it is is wild. It's wild. So another question that I got in the comments from one of you guys which was a good question. Again, it goes into this whole, like actually like my physical body talk, like talk of this conversation is where do I notice or where did I notice the weight loss the most? And I was like, that's a really good question. So thank you. I don't remember who asked it because that was one of my older videos, but thank you for asking that. So in the beginning, I noticed the weight loss the most. And I feel like, I think I've shared with you guys that the weight loss in the beginning, I know hands down, like those first 10 pounds was probably water weight and inflammation. So definitely first place, I noticed like a little bit of, you know, slimness happening in my face. Not a whole bunch, but definitely like a little bit there. But other than that, in my body, where I started to notice the weight loss uh, in the beginning the most was in my lower half, like my thighs, Lost my butt, child. I ain't never had it. We're going to talk. We're going to talk. Okay? Let's talk real deal. I always grew up never really, like, I wasn't that girl. Like, I have hips, but I never really had, like, you know, that volu voluptuous, you know, like, butt where it's like, oh, she got a donk. Okay? Uh, <laughs> Y'all probably, like, she's crazy. But no, for real. And especially as a, you know, African-American woman, let's talk. I always was like, I want to have a butt. Like, I want to have a bigger butt. So maybe like 2019, 2020, when I was going to the gym and like was like building muscle, like I definitely did build a little bit more of a butt, not even a little bit more because I even had people that were like, OK, girl, like I build, I was able to build more of a shape. And even when I started to gain weight in the beginning, it was like good weight because it was like, oh, like you're gaining weight and you're like, you know, hips and your butt. So I was like, ew. But <laughs> then like looking back at some of the other videos and even looking back at the side, the video from my before, that is where I gained, I think, I mean, obviously upper half, for, like my back and all that kind of stuff and, and stomach and whatever too. But I gained a lot of weight in my lower half and I didn't really realize it until I did this photo shoot with the kids. And it was sitting down, it was like a sitting down photo shoot and I had on just like a black pair of jeans and I forget, I think like a, a hoodie and some kind of like blazer on top of it, like just layered because it was winter time. And maybe it was because it was like a professional photo shoot and like I said, I was sitting down but just looking at like lower half of my body, like you can't really, like looking at this now and seeing how I looked in that photo, I was like, why do I have so much, <laughs> so much lower half? Like, it was crazy. So that is where I would say I started to notice this, the most uh, significant change in my body in the beginning. And even now to this day, to this day, I noticed the lower half of my body is so much slimmer. So it's still kind of hard to say where I am as far as like a size of jean because Stores jeans and bottoms and the cuts of them and skinny jeans and barrel jeans, wide leg, baggy, whatever, are so, so different. But I have had to get new jeans. I have had to get new bottoms. So I am in a smaller, at least one size down, I can say for sure. Almost two, but like I said, it depends on the kind of jean that I'm getting. But the lower half of my body, putting on leggings, putting on other pants and just looking at myself in the mirror, for sure had the most significant uh, change in my body in the beginning and still right now. I am now, as I'm progressing and now in, you know, five months in, I'm noticing more differences. You know, we talked about my collarbone for sure, shining through like shoulder, back, thank God, because you know, those songs and TikToks and videos that's like big back, big back, like that was me, okay? I had a big back. And one thing, when I do get my life together, y'all, and go back to the gym that I want to work the most, you know, people are like, oh, I want to have a six pack abs or, you know, I want to have this, that, and the third. 
I desire to have a sexy back. Like, does that make sense? Like, I see women that wear like bag out tops and, you know, different things that like a sexy back is so fly to me. I don't know why. Like, I do, you know, want a slim waist and you know, I don't necessarily want like a six pack, but I want a slim waist and slim arms. And so I do want definition of my arms for sure. But I just want a sexy looking back. So I have had <laughs> all of that is to say I have had noticed my back has slimmed down. Thank God. Somebody also asked me in the uh, comments about my uh, bra size and breast size. That is an interesting thing because being honest, as I feel myself, <laughs> I don't think I really have noticed as much of a difference in my cup size as I would have liked to. I feel like I've just always, maybe it's me and how I'm built, even having kids, like I gained, uh, not gained, I guess like I said gained, I, you know, did, I went up a little bit in my bra size while I was breastfeeding, but then they kind of went back to being the same size. I've always been like a D cup. I don't think I was really a C since I was like younger. I'm like a 36 D, like a true 36 D. So gaining weight, I probably went up to like a 38 for sure, but I feel like now I'm back into those 36s. I do need to get new bras. Like there's just so much when you lose weight that you have to revamp. And I still owe you guys a video of me maybe like going to the mall, going shopping. I tried to record it one day when I went to the mall, but it, it I just, I was pressed for time. I didn't give myself enough time. So I felt like I was in the changing room brushing, didn't really find the clothes and sizes and stuff that I wanted. So I never ended up actually uh, posting that video, but I will do a try on haul for you guys of just seeing some new clothes that I've gotten or going to the mall and buying some new clothes and we'll do that together, okay? But other than that, I, it's just everywhere now. Like everywhere, I'm starting to notice the change. Like I said, even putting on this top, seeing how things are fitting in my waist, seeing like the change here, like in this upper part of my waist area, like underneath my bra line, like having more definition. That like, I'm just noticing change everywhere. My arms, I wish that they would go down a little bit more, but again, I also kind of wish that they don't because I'm like, I don't want to lose. I've already lost weight in my arms and have, you know, the extra skin. So I'm like, maybe that's a good thing because I really want to go to the gym and gain, um, not gain, but build some of that muscle in my arms so I don't have as much of this flap, flappage as I do right now. So, but I do still notice a difference for sure in my arms. So I hope that, that helps. But as far as the bra size, cup size, it hasn't been as much of a significant change for me. And I know I've heard a lot of women say like, oh, well, like I want to, you know, try this and try to lose weight so that I can hopefully not have to get a breast reduction or not have to, you know, have such large chests. And I'm not like super top heavy. Like I, like I said, I'm like a 36D. I know some women who are very top heavy. And I think naturally when you lose weight, you will probably lose some weight in your breasts for sure. But just, you know, for me, it may not, for my uh, vantage point, it may not be as much as you think or as much as you want. So I don't know. But to each his own and everyone's body and weight loss journey is different. But that's just what I've noticed for myself. Uh, let me see what else I have to talk about. Okay, so another question that I got, I'm looking down at my phone in the comments was, oh, well, this one was pretty interesting. Someone asked, did I notice any vision changes? I can't really say. So I've always worn glasses. I've always um, had some kind of like, I have an astigmatism. I'm not blind without my glasses. Like I can see. And I actually used to wear contacts for years. I just recently in the last two or three years went back to wearing glasses when I got these and they're so fashionable and I love them. They're from Z Lol. Everyone asks me all the time and I need to get some new glasses just so I can like change it up a little bit. But I haven't really noticed a change in my vision, but I wouldn't say that it's not possible because I know after having kids, which was something that I'd never knew until having kids, that your vision can change and it changes because of the hormones and different things that change in your body. So I would not be surprised if there are vision changes if you are on this GLP-1 injection or losing weight and having, you know, hormone changes and imbalance, not imbalances, but maybe your hormones are balancing out, like whatever it is, there are changes going on in your body. So I think that I'm not a doctor, 
not a medical professional, but I'm just a girl who has been through it before. Like I said, it's even having kids and noticing that my vision did change after, especially after having, I think it was after I had Logan that I noticed it for the first time because I went to the eye doctor and I remember asking him like, why are my like contacts not working? <laughs> like, why am I straightening my eyes so much? And that was where I learned that your vision can change. And I had to get a, a different prescription for my glasses and contacts. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. So I think that it is very much possible and very much could be a thing. If anyone else, if you guys are watching this and you've noticed it, you know, y'all, we we're a family, we're a community. So drop it in the comments for the person who asked that or anyone else who may have that same question to help. But I have not noticed that for myself. So last thing I'm gonna talk about that is going on with me in these last couple of weeks since my last update is y'all know that I'm on debt bail now. I actually need to do my um, get my prescription refilled for my next box. So I'm, I have my last pen that I'm going to do today. Okay. So as I was editing, I literally was like, okay, let me go on to the website to lo log in and do what I normally do whenever I need to do my refill. And I was just so amazed by how quickly it happened. I was like, let me share with y'all. And I added it into this editing piece. So if you aren't familiar and you're, not, and you're new here, I will add a link in the description below that goes, it's a video basically that goes over all the information that you need to know about Fridays. But that's the company that I use in my provider of choice. This screen record is just an update and a video for you guys to see how quickly the process is to get your refills. Now, if you go back to the beginning of the screen record, you can see that you do have the option to have a video um, consultation with a provider and you can do that. Or if you just need a refill, you can do that too. So one of the updates and changes that happened with Fridays was that you can now have basically unlimited consultations with a physician, which is amazing. But for me, for me, just doing my just regular monthly update of Zetbound. I need a new box. So you get four pins in a box. So I just used my last one today and I just needed to go through and fill out this questionnaire of information that you just answer the questions basically based on where you are with your weight, um, different things as far as your blood pressure, heart rate, how you want to increase in dosage. If you want to stay the same, that will also make a difference if you needed a video consultation or not. But other than that, it is so easy y'all. And by the time I uploaded this video, it was like an hour that I already had a note from my uh, pharmacy that my prescription was already pushed through. So they literally y'all, they never cease to amaze me. I just really wanted to add that video or this um, little screen recording here just to let you guys see how quickly it is, how fast they move. I highly recommend, I've been with Friday since the beginning. So you can scan the QR code or you can look at the link below in the description for for more information to see if you're a candidate and use code Keisha, it's my name, um, for $20 off your first month. So I'm super excited to share with you all that. I told y'all a while ago, I changed my injection day to like Sunday, Monday. I'm going to do it today because it's Monday. But one thing that I've done differently is I'm taking my injection. Y'all know I used to take it at night all the time. My logic behind that was taking it at night because excuse me, I always heard that like, and it felt that was like, okay, I would have the least amount of side effects because if I take it at night, I'll go through the night with whatever side effects that I could possibly have. And I do feel like when I was on 2.5, that was a thing and that was, you know, maybe beneficial. But ever since I've been on five, one of the biggest side effects that I've had is headaches. So I've had like, the worst headaches, I'm not gonna lie. Last week wasn't too bad or the last couple of weeks because of this change that I made, and I'll tell you in a second. But in the beginning, the headaches that I had in the beginning on five was a lot. <laughs> so that next day, I would have a headache all day. And even the day after that, I would have a headache most of the day. And I think that it is common. Like I know that that's a common side effect, but one thing that I've helped to do that has at least changed it for me is taking my injection in the afternoon-ish time and I'll take it after whatever like the heaviest meal of the heaviest meal that I'm having that day which is usually around I try to eat heavier at lunch so I'm not eating heavy too late so let's say today I eat lunch which I don't know what I'm going to eat but I try to make it very protein heavy have my protein shake in the morning trying to make sure that I'm hydrating throughout the day like doing all these things to, I guess to kind of prep my body for the injection 
And to me, so far within the last two weeks that I've been doing that, I have noticed a difference that I'm not having as bad or at all. I don't think the last week, I don't think I had really a headache at all during um my the, the next couple of days after my injection so y'all let me know if you feel the same or if you've noticed a difference if any of you guys are still doing your injections at night if you change it up if you do it in the morning like i don't know if i would necessarily do it in the morning because i i personally not a doctor but i feel like you should have something on your stomach or be have some kind of protein electrolytes water like all of that in your body a little bit before you do your injection but that's just me so like i said for me right now the afternoon early evening is a sweet spot as far as time and it's helped with my headaches for sure. I don't want this video to be too long so please remind me and I'll put it in my notes that one of the things that I'll talk about next time I give an update will be we'll talk about energy because I have a couple things that I'm implementing in my regimen my daily regimen that I want to share with you guys that help with energy different vitamins and supplements and stuff like that that I'm taking and I also want to talk about this is just for the ladies I want to talk about our periods okay because that has been something that I have noticed a change in and we can talk about that <laughs> in the next video uh, but like I said I didn't want this one to be too long and I'm probably already at 20 minutes right now <laughs> So that is it. I love and appreciate you guys so much. If you have other questions, y'all know I do try to look, I, I look at for sure and at least try to like it. Y'all know I try to reply to almost every comment, but I'm getting overwhelmed a little bit in a great way because my channel over here is growing. I try to do the same thing on my uh, Instagram, which I'm at 32,000 right now. My Instagram page was just such a blessing and my TikTok is growing slowly. Show your girl some love on TikTok because I want to want to get to 5K over there. But TikTok is humbling me, okay? I'm at 32,000 on Instagram. And at TikTok, I'm at like 3,700. It's fine. It's okay. But show if you're not already following me on TikTok, I would appreciate it because I want to put some different content over there. I'm trying to make it more millennial based. So for my millennials out there, shout out to y'all. If you're not a millennial, I still love you. But um, I want to grow my TikTok so I can do some other stuff on there. So my goal is 5k please, in the next like month. That would be amazing. Um, but if you haven't done so already, if you're new here and you like my crazy personality and my lovely ADD and how I hop from thing to thing, I talk about all the time, um, make sure that you like and subscribe. Likes go a long way because it helps to push this out to people who are maybe looking for this kind of content. And subscribing definitely helps your girl too. And it also make sure that you stay updated on when I... Um, when I post and hit that notification bell because right now I'm in the process of uploading at least once a week I do but as my channel grows and as my time opens up and things change for me in the future one day I do hope and pray to do this full time hopefully sooner rather than later I will have a consistent schedule that I can give you guys so it will be oh I'll update every Monday and Friday I'll update every this but right now because my schedule is so crazy I commit to once a week but you're going to have to hit that notification bell to know what day of the week that's going to be when it's going to drop okay and share this with a friend so if you haven't done so share my channel or share my page and video with a friend it goes a long way. I love and appreciate you guys. I'll see y'all in the comments and I'll see y'all in the next video. Okay. Peace out. Peace out.